what's up I'm Brian here doing another video for you guys and this time we're gonna be opening the Transformers Generations Legacy this is the deluxe class Beast Wave Predacon Sandstorm and you know what's kind of funny is that I really wanted the Sandstorm that came out previously from the Selects line but the last time I got a Sandstorm in Generations was the first time they did it so I think this is a long time coming, but I'm not sure. Anyways, uh, yeah, this is going to be a Scorpion, uh, sorry, Scorpion Knock repaint. And it was also sent by TFA1024, so thank you for that, for giving me this guy, because I, I wanted him. He's a little orange scorpion, so I gotta adore that. Anyways, let's go ahead and open it. We're gonna start off with the bottom, of course. This is not a review, this is an opening video, I want to make that clear. And we are going to cut the clear tape at the bottom. Speaking of clear, take a look at this, it's clear. Take a look at this, it's clear. I, I, I don't want to say that too many times because it could get annoying. Anyways, let's go ahead and open it from the bottom. There we go. And then let's take out that oddly not so flimsy cardboard out. It's kind of weird because the usual mainline stuff is all boo. That's a descriptive word now, boo. Anyways, uh, there is the instructions. There's that white shade of doom! Get out of here! And, uh, yeah, there is Sandstorm out of the packaging. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and clip him out from this plastic ties. So much for, we're not wasting plastic anymore. Oh, yeah? Well, what's this? Explain that, hmm? Explain that, big Hasbro. Anyways, this is gonna be a little tricky to come out because of the tail up here. But not too bad, and there is Sandstorm out of the packaging. A little loose, especially for the arms going down here. I mean, they just, they do not want to hold. This knee is loose. Uh, this knee is not so bad. He could stand, so there's that. The elbows are tight, so that's kind of weird, but uh, there's his head. There's his little noggin. And what I like to do for the tail, I'm going to do the same thing I do with Scorpnock, is I like to open these bottom legs up and then close these off bring the tail in and then bring these up but i did just notice that this kind of snaps into place now it's a much tighter joint so that's good but uh, usually i like to keep the claws in here and for scorp knock that usually holds it in place but now it's just a thing i guess <laughs> anyways we're gonna move him off to the side and we're gonna focus on these little creature things and missiles and weapons this is hard to pop out I don't know why. Oh, there we go. Okay, I guess we're just gonna do that. And then for this side, I'm, yep, we just pop that out. Okay, so there's Sandstorm out of the packaging, and of course he's going to blend into the background. This was a smart thing to do. But, uh, you know, he's got the typical weapon, so we can open up his claw and give him his little cyber bee thing. And then we could open up this claw and give him his missiles, if the claw will open. There we go. And uh, I really do like the missiles. That's a nice touch. So yeah, we can hide them or we can open it up and bing, 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 bang. So there's that. Anyways, he's got the new toy accurate head for the beast form. And uh, let's go ahead and bring out the original Scorp knock and the package is just gonna fall on the ground, whatever. I don't mind that. And uh, yeah, you can see a lot more purple, but they both have purple, so they're unified, hooray. And, uh, yeah, I do like the fact that they're both Predacons, and I also like the fact that this is technically Shattered Glass This, if you did not know, so... Little fun fact for you guys. Anyways, let's go ahead and transform them. I don't need the instructions for this guy, I've, I've done it multiple times. Let's go ahead and see how we can do with this, though, because, you know, some of the joints are different for some reason. Uh, bring these out. Oh, I also like the metallic orange on the hips there, that's pretty nice. Bring out the tail, and then let's see. These little claws will rotate around. Yeah, I don't like the ball joints in this. Uh, let's see, can we open the head? Not all the way, we have to open this up first. And uh, let's see, trying to open up the chest, there we go. Oh, I didn't even notice there's a little core inside of the Scorpnock mold. Huh, the original Scorpnock is so dark you could barely notice it. Anyways, let's go ahead and pump out the waist that brings up to here. And uh, we rotate it this way, you can tell because of which foot goes where. This goes that way, and then I believe this goes that way with this folded up. And then now that I have it like this, we could probably bring this up a little bit further. Yes, we can. And that is not going to come out because that's a 
thing that's just common for the scorf knock mold, so I'm gonna have to take my scissors. I'm not gonna use scissors often just to do that, but uh, yeah, kind of needed to now. And then let's see, um, bring up the shoulders, maybe that will help, because the head is just not going in there. Come on, come on, there we go. Okay, now I got it in, very tight joint. Close the head up, and then let's see, we're going to bring this up like so, and now he's a, uh, now he's pouncing. This will close up into there like so. This will close up into there like so. We are almost through with transforming a scorpion. There we go. And we bring down the claws somewhat. I mean, they don't, okay, there we go. Of course, I'm gonna look silly now. Bring down the claws like so. Fix up the arms and uh, there is the Scorponok, not Scorponok. <laughs> There's the Dorito flavored Scorponok in his alt mode. And it's an adorable little bug. I will say that the way the shoulders are done on the original is much better because the orange is just so out of place here. But uh, yeah, he's fine. He's a scorpion. You know, what, what more do you need for a scorpion? He's got scorpion claws and scorpion tail, scorpion head, scorpion legs. He's a scorpion. I'm pretty sure of it. So with that out of the way, I thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and all those fun dudettes. And I will see you guys next time. All Spark TV. Now that's just Prime.